Hey guys, welcome to the video. So here's just a little um, file that I made that has um, maybe some alerts you would see coming from um, different computers or the same computer. I didn't put any IPs in here or computer names. As the host is down, um, blocked website was visited, uh, we have a matching signature or hey, we downloaded a file on this box. But they all come in as one event we see again and they all have the same time um, for the event being added, but really over here it's occurring uh, at different dates. So the dates here is what we're going to be trying to uh, extract with time. So we'll go into timestamps this time, go to advanced, and again anything you change up here it will also default to match your props.com GUI. Uh, timestamp format, this is what I mentioned, match it to whatever the use case is for this example. So this will be uh, percent Y for year, percent D for day. Oh, this is actually month, my bad. Month for 12, day, and percent year. So it still didn't exactly pull it up yet. And that's because, as I mentioned before, I made the data just have a little prefix here of EST. So we know our timestamp prefix, we'll put that in. And now Splunk's starting to pick up, hey, okay, I get what you're telling me to do. You're telling me to look in this format with this prefix, and then after this prefix, match everything here. And then this is our look ahead field. Um, from the other slide, the max timestamp look ahead, I told you this was gonna be a number. So this is the number of characters after your timestamp prefix of EST that you're gonna tell Splunk that the time field is going to be in length. So if we count it out, after the prefix, we have a one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine will take us to the end of 2020. So we will put in a nine, telling Splunk, hey, the time field uh, for all these events should only be nine characters long after our time prefix is set. So again, if you use time prefix um, with the max look ahead field, it's really gonna increase um, your speed and proficiency for um, parsing this data. And down here, we'll notice that everything had changed. You can X out of the ones uh, that you don't need. And these are the three fields that we really just focused on for parsing the data, extracting the time and telling Splunk we really only care about these things right here for our props.com for these events.